Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shirley, if you're new here. And today is a get ready quick with me for work. <laughs> I'm going to be doing um, a look that I will wear into a meeting because I have a meeting today. So let me show you the things I've already used in for this look. And it's the same two foundation, but as you can see, my Kat Von D in the shade 71 Warm. And this is NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Deep Sable. Foundation, I mixed those two together. And on my lips today, I use the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade Downtown Beauty. That's what I line my lip. And I tried this lipstick today. I don't know why I keep taking the glasses. I'm like, she gonna see after this. And it is by Hard Candy Glitter, Glitter Rossi. And this is what it looks like. Got a little glitter on the outside. I just use a little bit of that. And I also use the lip gloss. Now this lip gloss is really pigmented. I was surprised. See? It have glitter but it looked like a gloss. It don't look too like you're going in the clubs. It looked like you could be going to work <laughs> or to Walmart. And I used um, Laura Mercier Dark Medium Deep to set my foundation. And then today I used NYX Three Step to Sculpt. This, I'm gonna hit pan in the banana. I hit pan in the banana. I use that up under my eyes and I contour with this dark one right here. And that was it for those. On my cheek today, I'm using Makeup Geek Shabari Cheek Blush. And today, I'm gonna use Violet Voss Violet Sunset. I've used this once, a couple of times maybe. Here. But I'm gonna to stay towards those shades today. Those shades here. Cause I wanna have on eyeshadow but not be too strong. Not be too colorful. It's something else that we have to think about what you're going to wear in a meeting because you got to look. You can't look too masculine and you can't look too made up for some people. And I'm going in with this Amber Sky. It's this brownish, not that deep charcoal one, but that. That one right here. That's what I'm gonna go go in with that one. Right here in the crease a little. And you know sometimes while I'm putting on my makeup, I make up in my mind, like while I'm doing this, is it gonna stay there or am I gonna take it all the way across? I think I'm staying right here today. And I'm taking it up. I was listening to this makeup artist and he was saying like, um, people just like seeing the idea. They already, most people now can put on makeup. Or they put it on just the way they, they like it. That's how I do my makeup. I put on what I like. I was watching this, I think it's a TikTok video. The prices that people are charging 
$5,000 for your hair. People, the, the beautician are charging to part your hair now. I saw one beautician say $35 for parts. <laughs> one guy, it was $5,000 for her hair, $400 for her makeup. And then when he got through with it, she was very colorful, very pretty. But I want to know where she was going. Because unless the club have changed, I ain't been in one in like, Thirty years, I have not been to a club unless they change. When we used to go to the club, it was dark. <laughs> there was dark in the inside, and the only time you really would see somebody face is if you would go to the restroom. And even in the restroom, it wouldn't like lit up. So I don't know how they see the makeup. Like, I, like can you really see it on the dance floor that her makeup is stunning? I'm always confused about that. So I'm gonna go with this Violet Sunset right here. It's purple, I'm wearing it in the work to this meeting. But I'm only gonna stay here, right on the tip of the eye. And I'm using a smaller brush to do that. That's why I do my hair at home. I I haven't heard the natural community talking like that. It's when you're getting all these extensions. And then the beautician will get mad when somebody comes up with, like I see a lot of um, people are using the little clip things to go in the hair to do extension. And now, Somebody then came out with it here. Do this at home. You might as well. $5,000. That's what he was putting in her head a little. Poof, poof. And I know it calls for a lot of your time to do it in, to put it in. Then I, after he put it in, if you want to come back and get it redone, you would have them out. If he's going to take them out, it's an uninstalled charge. I'm going in with Desert Sand. And I think half of them might not even be licensed. My niece told me that <laughs> her person doing her nails, when you go to make her appointment, if you don't be a walk-in and you want to make an appointment, there's a $20 deposit. So just in case she puts you in and you don't come, she take each you um owe her. That I get. Because you be done set that appointment of time aside and you're not coming to it and somebody else could have it. That I get. But the part. So I'm wondering, do they want you to come in there with your hair already parted? For me to pay you $5,000, I guess, but are you worth $5,000 for the day? You would have to only be doing my hair that day. Then I got to come in there with it washed <laughs> and blowed out. <laughs> it's just too much. Girl, y'all start doing it at home. Okay, I have my eye look on. I'm gonna go off camera, put up my eyeliner. I might, might not. But I'm gonna have my outfit on when I come back. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and this is the final look. And I have on my rose color shirt, like eyelash. And it is pinkish rose. This is the outfit. And I'm going to insert a picture where you can see the whole outfit. I got on a little pair of pumps.
perfect for a meeting. This is what I would wear to a meeting. I like wearing a solid color shirt when I go into the meeting. Sometimes I will wear a colorful one, but it's if I'm in some type of mood. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna be like, and you know you're three types of people in a meeting. One who's running their mouth and don't know what they're talking about. They just wanna hear themselves speak. <laughs> and then the one who do know what they're talking about and who's putting out good information. And then there is the other one who's there talking about cr cracking jokes. Anyhow, I'm neither one of those. I put out good information when I'm asked. <laughs> but it's gonna be a, quite a few of us at this meeting. Maybe 13 or 14 people. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. And if you're new here and you like what you see, or you old school and you like what you see, check out these two videos. And I want to see you in my next upload. Or oh, I'll see you over there. Love you guys.